videos there, but shoulder pressure, the guy's gonna, instead of grabbing, you see how Eddie grabbed my shoulder? A lot of guys will. Um, he's gonna have elbows in, and then when, when I end up running this way, he knows that I might get that near elbow out. So every time I pop that near elbow out, he pulls the hand inside. You see that? Mm -hmm. He doesn't want it to get scraped. Yeah. So it's about to get scraped, so his elbow stays in, and now when you guys are here, you see, like, I can push this calf, like this leg, and then now that wrist is there. But I wanna make an adjustment because I can't reach for the gift wrap just yet. I'm gonna slide my chest back, right? So I'm gonna dip back. And then now I'm against that shoulder, that elbow, see my shoulder, my chest. So when he tries to twist back towards his back, no, 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 don't go to the turtle. Yeah, he tries to twist. Like that hand is like right there, you're getting that gift wrap. Of course, it's a good discussion we'll have in the future that what do you do when they turtle? And we'll get over that. We'll get to that when the time comes. But first, the moment that you rolled him on his side, mm -hmm. you cut that up and I dip my chest back and now I'm like, oh, I'm pushing and, and now he's trying to turn back into me. See that? And now I capture that and my hand goes inside the loop, connect the gift wrap, okay? Now watch, my right foot is gonna windshield wiper to the back. I lean out this way because I gotta exploit the hole. If there's a hole, there won't always be the hole. We've talked about, sometimes the hole's not there. For now, the hole is there, okay? And we're able to stab our foot through and get into this kind of technical mount, S mount with a gift wrap, common position. Now, we could loop off and go arm bar right here, okay? We've shown before, you can lean back this way and stomp on your foot or body triangle. See how I can't quite reach in this position? I can stomp on my foot, you see it? Mm -hmm. And we go to all of our stuff, we've got the choke, Remember when you're in weak side right here, where's my head? My head is right next to his, here. okay? Sometimes you guys are, can't get a choke because your head is way over here and you're like this. And you, that's why you can't choke anyone, okay? You don't wanna be here. If my hand is around his neck and my head is here, I have a fairly decent choke, okay? All right, so this is what we've practiced before, but now we're gonna combine it with our gift wrap armbar, which I think is a better way to go about it. We're gonna come back over to this side. And instead of going to this position, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna take the gift wrap, okay? I'm gonna rotate and sit on my butt, but I'm gonna put my right foot over his arm, okay? In this position, okay? So I keep the gift wrap, I'm gonna sit down, the guy can keep the right arm in. I'm gonna bring my right heel over his shoulder. See that? Right over the shoulder. Pushing at his arm, this could be a little, there's gonna be a little hand fight going on. So you'll be pushing there and you're gonna get through and lock. See that? So I lock first, then I loop off. As you, as you get, do that, now you just pull the arm bar. Like no leg over the head, guys. Guy tries to get on top of you, like right here, he, he could be like that. He might be trying to go through, he uh -huh. might be trying to like come on top. See how that's gonna turn into triangle? You see all those op opportunities? So if he bridged like that and then turned into me, boom, he comes into the deepest triangle choke, and then you also have armbar combo. If the guy just kind of stays put and tries to lock his hands, this is just a matter of separation, and then pull the arm straight yeah. and finish. Mm -hmm. Control it and finish. Yes, you could do this. Yes, you could go leg over the head. But remember, he's got a lot of defenses. I think you have a lot more uh, finishing opportunities from here. This can also turn into a backside triangle like this. So keep that in mind. Then if you lock this up, now you have other ways to kill the guy. Shoulder lock this way. It's like okay. witches. Like an Americana. See, I'm pulling it like this. Yeah. Okay. And then also straight. And then we also have, right. you know, getting up on our knee and then coming over and yeah. grabbing for a leg so we can fall back and then pull the leg and then finish there. Okay. So if you guys achieve this position. How did we get here? It's a great position. Uh, like You're in the basic. You're in the basic. Look at the basic. I go toes to the back, stab over to here. All I'm gonna do, guys, look. I bring my knee all the way around. See that? Mm -hmm. As I sit down, I'm straightening my arms a little bit, and then, see how I'm sitting on my butt? See this position? Yeah. The guy tries to move. It's, it's gonna be really tough. You still got the gift wrap. My heel comes over, and your feet gonna work into here. See that? Loop off the head. Okay. It's important that I keep his head in the loop while I do this. Because if I loop off the head, 
it's an arm bar and it gets crazy. Like I can't do what I just did. Yeah, he's already, separate. See how you're already so starting, he's starting yes. some defense. Separate. But, but see if your hands are like together, like I try to do this, but he could fly up on top of me. See, like he could do that, see that? But when you guys have it in the gift wrap and I'm here and I straighten, the guy tries to turn on top of me. See that? And now I'm like locking him up. Then I loop off and now he has to lock. He has to do something. Yeah. You know, maybe I break and now he has to try something and you guys are gonna be finishing here. Okay, even right here, look. Got a little Beautiful. shoulder lock. This is like an omoplata. This can become a kimura. If the guy somehow was tough enough to get up, like to get on right here, this can become a kimura. There's so many ways that you can dominate and finish the guy while he's in this trap, guys, which is a lot stronger than doing this. Because this is conventional. This is what everyone trains. It's because my head everyone head. trains how to get out of the arm bar. That's why I love arm bars, but I also want you guys, I want you to finish here, but I also want you to learn these alternatives. Because if I lock something like this, he's trapped. It's really hard to get out. It's not as easy as people think it is. People go, oh, it's so loose. The arm bar won't work. Uh, yeah, check it out. Like once I go here, he tries to survive. I control his thumb. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like there's so many ways to get this. Yeah. He rolls his elbow that way, he rolls it the other way. Like there's all kinds right here as well. If they fought into that triangle for me, boom, that's fine with me too. Cause now I got the deepest triangle, okay? So let's combine it with what we just did. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Watch it real quick. So, so when he walks up north to like smash me like that, I pull my elbow in. He gift wraps and there's a space for him to stab his foot through. Instead, he's just gonna, he's, his right foot is thinking, I'm gonna get that. That's okay. Now I'm like, uh oh. Way different, guys, than this. Like, a body triangle looks dominating, right? He's winning. He's dominating. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, you start out like this, and now go ahead and use two feet, and cross. Yeah. There's all kinds of problems now. It's way worse. Yeah, so now I've got to get, I've got to get out of here. And this is tight. He's not even taking a triangle. Yeah. You might look at this and go, no, it's loose. I can see spaces. It doesn't matter that you see spaces. It's tight. Just pull those heels in, it's a lock. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's nowhere for me to go. This arm bar will work, guys. Yeah. You don't have to pass the leg over the head. Yeah. You don't have, in fact, that's just gonna open up the moves that I know how to get out. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Sweet. Hit it. Sweet, sorry about that. What are you sorry about, buddy? I shit the head. I was like, man, this <laughs> gotta keep you. He kicked me in the head. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> No, you barely hit me. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, this is another lesson. Um, when you guys are in the side control, we've been doing a side control series where we walk up and we kick an opponent's elbow out so we can exploit their near arm. Now, they, they go, oh, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in, elbows in, you can't. But here, we open up the gift wrap. Open up the gift wrap so much more now from taking the back to arm bars to this locking style that I love so much using the gift wrap to lock everything up and then just leading to the demise of your opponent it's going to lead to something chokes arm bars shoulder locks everything okay hope you enjoyed comment down below let me know what you think and we'll see you guys next time with me. Let's stop.